I believe today there is an attack by the devil, there's an attack by Satan on families, on men, on women, but specifically, I believe just like he was in the days of the Garden of Eden, attacking Eve the woman, I believe there's an attack uh, on womanhood. Now let me say this, if I were the devil and I wanted to attack women, I wanted to destroy women and I wanted to use women to destroy men and women to destroy families and women to destroy society, you know what I would do is I would use schools, colleges, universities, I'd use the media, I'd use the culture of this world to brainwash women into thinking that having a career and having a job and owning a business or running a business or being some sort of a political leader, I would use that to try to brainwash women into thinking that having a career is more valuable than raising a child. Notice what the Bible says. You say, you know, in verse 14, Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Now, here's the thing. Eve messed up. Now, Adam messed up too, okay? So I'm not, we're not bashing women. You know, they both messed up. But, you know, Eve, you know, would say she'd, be guilt, she'd feel guilt. You know, she'd feel remorse. She'd think, oh, no, what did I do? But notice what God says in verse 15. He says, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. Here's what he says. He says, women and Eve specifically, but all women, he says they can, they, they can make up for their mistakes or they can find value in something. You know, even though we're all sinners, he said that they can find value in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness and sobriety. Go to 1 Timothy chapter number 5. You're there in 1 Timothy chapter 2. Flip over a few pages to chapter 5. Look at verse number 14. Here's what I want you to understand. And you may think, well, you know, I can't, culture doesn't teach that. Society doesn't teach that. But here's what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that the greatest value that a mother can have is that in raising her child. Today we are taught, and women are literally brainwashed in colleges and universities where they think like, oh, having a child and, you know, pursuing a career, this is valuable and this is a waste of time. You know, I need to go, you know, start a business. I need to go, and, you know, I'm all for women starting businesses. If you don't have children or, or you don't, you know, uh, have children at home, go work. I, I'm not talking to you, but I'm saying if you have a mother, and, and, I, and, you know, the virtuous woman, she ran a business from home. And I think that's great, too. But, but this idea today where we're being told, no, 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 children are a nuisance. They're a burden. Put, you know, put them somewhere, put them in some daycare somewhere, and you go do something of value with your life, and you go work somewhere. That is not what the Bible teaches. Now, that is the wisdom of this world, but that's not the wisdom of God. Look at 1 Timothy chapter 5. Look at verse number 14. 1 Timothy 5, 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, Guide the house. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. The Bible teaches that God's will for any young lady's life is that she would marry, bear children, and guide the house. And let me say this. The greatest value and the greatest impact, the greatest thing that you can do for society, women, is to stay home and raise a child in the fear of the Lord, in the love of the Lord. And you say, no, 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 I want to go be the CEO of some company. That is foolishness. You get the opportunity to invest your life into an eternal soul. You get the opportunity to invest your life into a human being or two or three or four or five or however many God blesses you with. You get the opportunity to raise a child for God. And we ignore that today and say, no, 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 no. I'm going to go get a college degree. No, 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 I'm going to go work and I'm going to let somebody else raise my children. That's the foolishness of this world. Amen. And you know, if I were the devil, I would brainwash women into thinking, no, that's acceptable.